Okay, so I'm not saying I'm the best speaker in the world. I'm a moderately good speaker maybe, but certainly a successful one. I've spoken in audiences in 50 countries now, over 50 countries, in just about every industry you can imagine. I usually get incredibly good ratings. Well, otherwise I wouldn't be in business, would I? So, let me share a few insights. Here's another one. Number two, the first was passion. Number two, most important of all, well, they're all most important of all, they are vital. Know your audience. Listen, my friends, if you are talking to a German-speaking audience uh, where most of them are going to be using translation equipment, uh, for goodness sake, make sure that you adapt your message, your speed of delivery, so that the interpreters can keep up with you. Um, the fact that although most of your audience may want translation or need it, they may be too embarrassed to take it, so they may in fact be listening to you in their second, third, fourth or fifth language. So use an international form of English with simple words. Keep the sentences short. Use lots of visual aids, lots of simple PowerPoint slides to make great points. Know your audience. Know why they're there. What are they passionate about? What makes them angry? What makes them happy? What is the reason for this gathering? Why on earth should they choose to be in front of you? Are they being forced to? Have they paid a lot of money to? It makes a difference. What is the purpose of this particular meeting? And what is their expectation? I'm not so much interested in the client's expectation. Yes, very, very, very important to know the client's expectation of the meeting. But I want to know what have this audience been told? Can I see the circular? Can I see the email of invitation? I want to know what is the contract, the informal, unwritten contract between the organizer of the event and the audience that has brought that audience together. What is the mood likely to be in that room? Who's coming before? Who will be speaking after? Will they be hungry? Will they be tired? Will they be jet lagged? Let's know this audience. Uh, will they be an informal group? Or will they be jacket and tie? How old will they be? Are they male? Are they female? At what level are they? What uh, are the main dominant jobs of the people in the room? Uh, what is the status of these people in the organisation? What kind of mood will they be in? What is the morale in the organisation? Know the audience. You cannot get close enough to an audience. And remember, Every audience is different, and my friends, they will be different at the beginning of your session than at the end. So you have to get to know the audience again. You've got to know them before coffee, it's a different audience just before lunch. Believe me, blood sugar makes a big difference. A, a, what, a disaster speaker before you could be the greatest benefit to you because it may help you shine. It could be your greatest disaster if it means a lot of them haven't even bothered to come back after the session because they're so fed up with the conference. So know the audience, keep close to them, watch them, uh, live with them, eat with them. If you possibly can, arrive the day before, get to dinner with them, uh, uh, sh uh, share experience with them, find out who they are and what they are and what they like. Make sure that you've got at least a few really good friends in the audience before you even get up to speak and you know where they're sitting because, my friend, you're going to need them. Yes because you're going to catch their eye and from the smiles or the looks of curiosity on their faces you'll be able to read them like a book and they will radiate energy to you and you'll pick that up and it will inspire you and keep you motivated and driving on in the right kind of way. So, know your audience, it's the biggest trick in the trade.